So if you have Saturn in the eighth house, first of all, I want to give you a hug because this is rather a difficult placement and it's difficult because Saturn is a difficult planet and it's more difficult because the eighth house is to me the most mysterious house of all of the houses and it is dark and scary and we don't like to look there it's like hiding all the monsters under your bed and under your bed that is the eighth house that's definitely the eighth house it's the place where we repress things where we hide things where we consciously hide things not the 12th house where they unconsciously hide where we throw things away so that they don't hurt us that is the eighth house so by the time your saturn return comes along it would be a good time to kind of take a peek under that bed you might want to see what's under there so that it can no longer scare you and hurt you so i haven't said this but saturn is the principle of limitation saturn is like a cranky old grandpa man who kind of judges you and um he wants to make you a better person by being hard on you he's a tough love sort of character 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 so if you have saturn in the eighth house you've experienced that principle of toughness and hardness and harshness in the eighth house you might not be very aware of saturn there because the eighth house is so psychological and you might not be fully in tune with that saturn principle but you definitely have experienced the difficulties that an eighth house saturn can have so an eighth house saturn person might have experienced some of the darkest things and darker things of life that the rest of us have no concept of so things like i don't i'm not gonna say that this is definitely you but this is where you might find like sexual abuse or all of the taboo and just things that we don't like to talk about because they're ugly and we turn away from them that would be in the eighth house and with saturn there that makes it so saturn is your life lesson so if your life lessons revolve around that very difficult house then your life lessons are likely going to be more difficult than all the lessons of all of the other houses so i feel for you definitely i don't i have an empty eighth house i have a packed ish 12th house but my eighth house is empty thank god because i don't think i could handle 12th and 8th i don't think i could handle the eighth so you definitely are a very strong person and i hope that these quotes can bring you some help along your path and that's why I put them together. So let's get started with the first quote. So the first quote is, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. And Martin Luther King Jr. said that. So I think this is a really fitting quote for an eighth house Saturn person, because when you experience some of the most traumatic things that a person can imagine, you can have hate in your heart. And it's totally understandable. Like I'm not gonna tell you hey, like you shouldn't hate people. Like that's not a good way to be. Like you should be a better person. If you've been through some like dark shit, like I definitely agree with you that you should hate the people who have hurt you. And I totally understand and empathize because that's like, that's real life shit, you know? But I will say that by the time that your Saturn return comes along, you should start airing those things out so that they don't hurt you. Because when you're harboring hate for somebody else, no matter what they did to you, that hate, it's, it's really not doing anything to the person because you're not doing anything to them. You're just holding this like low vibe emotion in your own body and in your own being. And that really doesn't bring any benefit to you. Even though it's understandable that you would feel that way, by the time that you're around 30 years old, when your Saturn return comes around, it is a good idea to kind of air it out and bring a lightness to that darkness so that it can't hurt you anymore. So that was my first quote. The next quote is, we can easily forgive a child his, who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. Plato said that. So this also reminded me of the eighth house Saturn placement because Another thing that can happen when you have Saturn in the 8th house, it's also the house of fears. So you can have, Saturn is also associated with fear. So you could have a lot of repressed fear that 
you don't really think about or address or talk about and the time of your Saturn return, those things are going to come up. So if you prepare for it in advance, you won't be as... Um, because Saturn will bring things that is gonna that are going to test that area of your of your life. So if you prepare yourself and you kind of allow these things to happen with some awareness, it'll definitely help you not be caught off guard. So addressing fears and repressed memories and repressed fears is definitely a good thing to work on when you're going through your Saturn return. The next quote is Someone I loved once gave me a box full of darkness. It took me years to understand that this too was a gift. Mary Oliver said that. So coming again to that idea of, sorry, my dogs are gonna bark. So coming back to that idea of how people with Saturn in the eighth house can have experienced very difficult things at the hands of others, sometimes Saturn can represent the father. So if you are one of those people who experience dark and difficult things through the hands of your own father or people in your family you by the time that you're 30 years old it's a good idea to not really let go of those things because who am i to tell you to let go of your past experiences but let go of things that hurt you so you know you don't have to make amends with the people that hurt you definitely not but you definitely have to come to peace and understanding within yourself and <clears throat> not allow those things to continue hurting you in the future. So the quote says, um, someone I loved gave me a box full of darkness. It took me years to understand that this too was a gift. So even though these dark atrocious things can't like, they're just like, what do you mean it was a gift? Well, they're a gift in the sense that despite those things, you're still here and you are a really strong person and you would never have been or had to be this strong if you hadn't gone through those things. And if I could take all of those things back, if I was God and I could take all those things away so that you wouldn't have to go through them, I would do that in a heartbeat. But I'm not, right? And we can't take those things back. So you are definitely a strong person and it's kind of a blessing in disguise because you have the strength to go through things that most people just cannot even imagine. So that is the gift of those dark things that happen to you. So it's definitely a good time around your Saturn return to start seeing the gifts that you've been bestowed through that darkness that you've experienced. Okay guys, so I hope you're doing okay. I hope the Saturn return isn't that difficult for you and I will see you in the next video. I hope these quotes help you. I'll see you in the next video.